А захватится и это бетон. is now on top of my head because it's just so wet and rainy but um, you can go down these steps here and there's 32 steps but it's very wet very very wet it's very high and I just don't think I'm gonna do it to be honest I can see it it's beautiful I can see it it's absolutely stunning every single corner you turn is just amazing um, I'm trying to get loads of photos but at the same time I just feel like maybe I should just try and see it with my eyes and not worry too much about photos I'll film as much as I can. Let's find out who this statue is. Oh, do you know who it is? It's the guy that found Victoria Falls. Makes sense. As soon as I said it, I felt like a complete idiot. Every single corner you turn, you just go, oh my god, wow. It just gets better and better. There's people walking like right over there. Yeah. Crazy. They just said that I feel like my mum, like I'm getting old. So I was like, I just can't believe it's real. It's so beautiful. Yeah, definitely getting old. Bloody hell. Look at it. because it's so wet but it's not even high this isn't high water so it's like it's like torrent feels like torrential rain but it's just the water from the falls which are just yeah. I can't stop smiling literally this is the most beautiful place I've ever been I decided to wear Birkenstocks and shorts everything is so lush and green it's just constantly being hydrated I don't know if you can see, but just there, there's people uh, swimming in a pool, but they're literally right on the edge. And apparently, it's $150 each to go and die at Victoria Falls. To die there. Why would you do that? So, this part is Horseshoe Falls, um, and in high water, high volume, this whole section is completely covered in water but in about two weeks it'll be completely dry because it's uh, just about to become like the low season, the drought season. So I'll show you what it looks like and just imagine, I can't imagine how it'd be if it was just all one block of water. So this whole bit there, we've covered it with water. This section of the path is called the danger point because in November, like high water, high. <laughs> uh, in high water, it gets it gets really wet, doesn't it? So you can't. And then it's just this little bit of path with these basically sticks in between you alive and the falls. About two seconds, like two, not even a step away from where they're standing is the edge of Victoria Falls. Insane, people are insane. Can't believe it, just to get a photo, just to get that shot. Everyone is like back there getting all their like photos and stuff, but I'm so scared of heights that it makes me feel physically sick, so I just, I just can't do it. And I wish that I could, um, I just can't, and like, I'm watching other people do it and just think, oh my God, it makes me want, it makes me want to throw up actually, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Oh wow, it's just the, it is the most beautiful place I've ever been. I know I keep saying it, I probably sound like a bit of a broken record to be honest. Me just sitting on a rock. Well, everybody else that risks their lives. I've literally seen about four people trip, fully trip on these rocks. Why? Why do it to yourself? So we've arrived back from uh, Victoria Falls. We are back in Harare. It's taken about nine hours. Um, but yeah, we're, we're back now. Um, I 
I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching, if you made it to the end, don't know if anybody will. Um, and yeah, just thank you, uh, it's been an amazing day. Um, so yeah, if, if you liked it, give it, give it some love, I don't know, do the thing. Um, yeah, I just made it to like show you guys, like my friends and family, what it's like and how much fun we had and yeah, that's it really. So um, hopefully I'll, I'll see you really soon, do another vlog soon. Bye guys.